In my current role, um, I would be seeing children that have been referred into the Children's Assessment Unit by their GP or from the A&E department. Um, I would carry out their initial assessment, um, taking a history of what's wrong with them, um, doing a, a physical assessment um, of, of their illness at that time, arranging investigations, um, depending on what they need, taking blood tests, giving them treatments if they needed fluids, if they needed antibiotics, um, arranging x-rays, those sorts of things. Looking then at what all those results show, re-evaluating the patient and then making decisions um, and diagnosis at that point of whether or not they need to come into hospital. Um, discussing it then with the on-call consultant about their admission um, or if they were well enough then to be going home. If they're within the scope of patients that I can discharge home on my own then I would let them go home, um, giving advice to parents, arranging for medication for home, um, letting them know what signs and symptoms they need to come back into hospital with if they had any concerns. So it may well be that there's some patients that would only ever be seen and assessed by a nurse practitioner. Um, and some of the patients then would also need to be senior reviewed by a consultant, depending on what's wrong with them. Um, but there's a, a large majority of patients that as advanced nurse practitioners um, that, we, that we would see and manage entirely on our own. It's not just patients that come in with coughs, colds, it's patients with a wide range of conditions, um, patients maybe having a heart attack, um, patients who've had falls, um, broken bones, um, a whole range of conditions. Um, and particularly there's um, as, as nurses, because of our experience with things like sepsis, um, I know of colleagues have, have done a lot of work because of our awareness of it and our ability then in these roles to, to act autonomously, we can start treatment sooner, we recognise it, um, and that's made quite a difference to some of the patient care and timeliness of treatment. I wanted to come into this type of role. Um, I've experienced nurse, I've been qualified for, for a long time um, and career pathways can be quite limited sometimes after years and it's management used to be one of our only options as, as we became more senior and more experienced. So the development of these roles mean that you can stay in something clinical, you can do the things that you enjoy, you can learn new skills and expand on, on your abilities um, by using your experience in a, in a different way once you've had this training. Um, so for somebody like me, it's meant that I can keep that direct patient contact, um, I can still spend time with, with children and their families, I can do the things that I've always enjoyed doing about the job um, and bring that experience to it as well.